I'm Finn from Shift. I'm here with Torsos from Power. Uh, you just defeated Gladiator to go two and two. A bit of a tricky series in the end. How do you feel that series went as a whole? Um, I mean, we're not really on our game, I suppose. It felt like if we lost, it was probably a career ender. So it's a good thing we won at the end. Um, so you're two and two again. Um, what does the team need to focus on to finally break through the top eight? I think just you know, executing on uh, stage because we're in scrims, we're doing really well before and we come over to these setups and especially me individually just gone, I don't, I'm not feeling it on these, these computers. I'm getting computer debuffed like they've targeted me. I don't know what's going on. But um, as long as I pull my head in somehow, get over that and then like we actually play as a team, we can, we can definitely make it. Yeah, so you've been on a lot of different top teams in OC over the years. Why is the addition of of Banana Head, because it's never been quite as dominant as this, so why has his addition specifically enabled that? Um, well, I think Beard was sort of like the carry of any of the teams like competing with me or Fever, right? And he's like the biggest grinder in the region. He's like the best two player in the region for sure. He brings a lot of, you know, he's very solid. So he's definitely got that like high floor. Me and Fever have got a high floor for OCE as well. I think we're you know, the best three players, as I always say, I only want the best three players on the team. So I think this time, with everyone actually grinding, um, that's what uh, happens. We get six wins. Yeah. For you individually, um, you've, um, you've been through a lot of ups and downs throughout your career. Um, but where do you rate this season specifically, like personally, on a personal level? Mm. Um, I suppose... Better than uh, 21, 22, 22, 23, those two seasons, I was pretty, you know, whatever, individually. Not where I really wanted to, or season nine. I think I'm like, bring it back. I felt, I felt really good coming into this land, but you know, as I said, the computers. But um, I, I feel good. I feel like I'm definitely like, you know, people were rating me like outside the top 10 in OC last season, which is like, it's crazy. But um, this season, I think I'm definitely, you know, back at the top. Pretty, pretty comfortably. Yeah, I mean, you're one of the, the last remaining old guards, pretty much the last remaining of the old guard of OC, still kicking around. Yeah. How do you manage to keep up while all the others falter? Uh, I suppose I've got the, the grind. Everyone else sort of, you know, maybe started hating the game, or like started going on like in their real life. You know, which I guess I've started to think about with like, I'm getting kind of old, I'm like turning 24 soon, it's a bit, a bit scary. But um, definitely just the grind. I have like a lot of hours and I OC. Obviously the ranked isn't too good, which I think puts a lot of like old people off. Mm -hmm. But I'm still, still got the motivation to keep going. So finally, you're still in the Dominus. A lot of people have, have you know, submitted to the Octane Fennec Dominance. Why do you remain faithful? And how come do you remain faithful to the Dominus? I just don't like the Fennec, man. The Octane is unplayable. The Fennec's sort of just like a fat Dominus. So it's like, it's, it's possible to play in it, but Beard got me to switch off the Fennec. I was going to come into the Fennec with this season, but Beard got me to switch off it and I just haven't got off it. There's not really any theory behind it. I just play in whatever's comfortable. All right. Well, thank you very much and best of luck. No worries. Thank you very thank much. You very much.